Hello, I'm Mary Trimble with your readings for September the 24th through September the 30th. Um, welcome. If you haven't been here before, welcome. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I really appreciate you and I hope that you enjoy these readings and that you will come back. And if you've been here before, thank you so much. Listen, guys, you know, you really touch my heart and, and, and you really helped me through a very difficult week. Um, I want to apologize for only getting seven um, readings up last week. So I am going to start with Aries where I left off in, with uh, Pisces last week. So I'm going to start with Aries. I hope the Librans will forgive me. As soon as I've gone through to um, Virgo, I will then do uh, Libra and go on from there. Um, what else? Um, you really helped me. Thank you for all the wonderful sentiments about my mum. I really appreciate you. I'm using a green screen uh, with photographs from Nottingham, but um, I'm going to, each reading will be uh, my mum's window um, in the background. So it's her view of what she had in her house just before she was, um, she moved into the assisted living uh, apartment. She lived in Woolerton and here is the view out of her window. It was so pretty and this is only a section of her window. She had a lovely bay window. Um, anyway, I thought I would let you know that and of course this is in honour of my mum. I will be leaving for England next week. I may not get the readings up for a couple of weeks so I just wanted you to bear with me and please hang in there and come back. Um, and support me. I really, I would really appreciate that. Now, um, these are general readings, guys. Uh, I will start with an astrological reading and you can skip that if you're checking out your sun, moon and rising. Um, but the astrological reading is quite interesting this week and that will go on every video. The format will change um, probably in uh, maybe the end of October or November. Um, I'm going to tailor each uh, reading for each sign um, so they'll be different and uh, what what else oh these are general readings like I said if you would like a personal reading you can click here and find out more information um, and if you just want to support me and I can tell you I could really use <laughs> support right now uh, with everything that's going on and um, you can check me out on patreon and you can click on here for Patreon. Um, okay, so let's go into the astrological report, shall we? Look, we're starting off the week with a full moon in Aries. Now, moons are very um, emotional anyway, um, but this moon in particular is quite emotional. I mean, of course, all the water signs, you know, definitely feel it, but it's right next to Chiron. Um, and Chiron is the wounded uh, healer. So we're going to find a lot of uh, our childhood wounds may come up, you know, some, some issues that we, you know, look, they may be brought up and that's great, right? Because this is a time that we can look at them, um, feel them and then release them. Um, so this is a great opportunity to do that. We may have some uh, issues this week with our, there are several other aspects going on. I'm just going to give you a general energy for the week. Uh, we may have some challenges with our relationships uh, this week. So we could be quick to um, be angry so it's really important to think before we speak and react and try to avoid uh, conflict but whatever happens this week there are lessons here and there are obstacles that we can overcome these are opportunities for us to overcome these obstacles um, on on the positive side we are going to have a lot of energy um, and so we will be, you know, we will be um, energized to be ambitious and to do things and have that get up and go. So that's a good thing. Um, just 
you know, when something comes up for you, you know, retreat and have some self-reflection with it so that you can learn from it and move on. Um, I'm going to keep it short and sweet um, and because there is, you know, it, there's a lot going on this week. Um, I, I just... I just want to mention the the full moon is always a culmination of things. We will be letting things go. We will be letting relationships go. Um, it is important for us to really look and see what is working for us and then release that which is no longer working for us. It's sometimes we, we fight to hang on to things that don't work for us. This, this full moon is definitely, a, well, all full, full moons are, um, a culmination or an ending, right? Um, a completion of something. And, and this is particularly energized towards the completion of things. Um, relationships in kind of all areas, in, you know, at work, our boss. Some of us will be ending um, jobs. Some of us will be ending Perhaps if we have a business, we'll be ending some part of what we've been doing and no longer focusing on that and focusing on something else. Whatever this is, it's transformational right now. And so we will be um, we will be going forward kind of renewed and different. I know I, for one, have really f I've really felt the energy of this <laughs> full moon and some childhood issues came up for me and it was intense um and but what i was able to do was i i was able to you know really feel it you know it was primal crying uh that i went through and when i came through it i was able to look at it um i don't want to say dispassionately but from a distance and i was able to um What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I was able to discern and, and I was able to remove myself from those intense feelings and really see what was going on so that I could accept it and then just, you know, release it and move on. We don't have to feel that pain forever, but it is important that we go back and we feel it so that it's not affecting our lives in a negative way so that we can move forward without the shackles of the past on us. So this moon, this full moon, is, a real, is an amazing opportunity to remove those shackles. Just be willing to look at that. Be willing to look at that messy stuff. Sometimes it's messy, you know, we all have that. Um, but look at it so that you can release it. Um, so without further ado, let's go to your card, shall we? Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading for September the 24th through September the 30th. And the first card out for you is the Seven of Pentacles. My green screen is going to make this see through. <laughs> it's my mum's view out of her window, isn't that lovely? Okay, so um, before I go on about the meaning of the seven of pentacles i want to tell you what is clarifying it and clarifying it is the judgment card okay this look the seven of pentacles is about all the all the effort that you have all the seeds that you've sown right and it's about looking back and seeing how far you've come look especially with this new full moon, you're going to be feeling it emotionally, uh, Pisces, of course, because you're all sensitive, water sign, and really things are going to start to come up for you. Um, they're going to come up from the darkness. These are childhood issues. These are um, deep wounds because this new, this full moon in Aries is, you know, it's about action, right? Aries is a cardinal sign. It's about instigating something it's about starting something and it's right next to Chiron the wounded warrior these are wounds that will come up for all of us really um, mine's already been up darling <laughs> 
primal, primal. This is a wonderful opportunity. Yes, it's difficult, but you look, you know, I'm a water sign, you're a water sign. We know that this is not easy, but we're not afraid to feel these emotions. Being a water sign, we're not afraid. We're used to feeling these emotions, aren't we, Pisces? We are. Um, this is about, look, it's time for this to come up. It's time for us to finally heal this deep, deep wound from childhood, you know? And it's probably, you know, it's, it's from the home. It's, look, the, the moon is the mother, the sun is the father, you know, they're opposite each other, right? So you, and you've got the wounded. Definitely, this is childhood stuff from the home, look. And then you've got, look, this, this is the judgment again. This is the next card. You've got two judgment cards. You're being called to a healing. You're definitely being called. Because when this is a wonderful opportunity, Pisces. When you heal this stuff, this wound, when you close this wound, and when you heal it, then you can move forward. And look, clarifying it, you've got the page of cups. This is love coming in. And look what's interesting. In the cup, there's a fish, Pisces, right? This is for you. This is, look, this is the message of love. So you are being called in to really kind of embrace this, um, this deep healing look at this situation with love and, and, and heal yourself, darling. Release it. The pages are also, this is, you're ready for the next phase of your life. That's what this is saying. You are ready for the next phase. You're ready emotionally to move on from this. You can definitely heal this. The next card up for you is Look, the five of pentacles, which is deprivation. You're feeling the deprivation of love or, uh, or you know, it could be physical. It could be money. It could be. This is deprivation of some kind. But what I'm getting is love. So this feeling of this deprivation of love is an illusion. You know, look, abundance you know, if we really look, if I'm feeling deprived of love, all I have to do is look at my lovely sparky you know he's unconditional love there's love around us always in all ways and there's always somebody look I, I i look at all the love i've received all the sentiments and the wonderful blessings and all those wonderful loving comments that i got last week that there is love out there for everyone we may sometimes feel that we're not loved i mean but there's evidence i can go back there and say when i'm not feeling loved i can say look i am loved i am loved and let me tell you when you go inside that pure love that love inside is so pure we can't get it from the outside so all you have to do is meditate and tap into that wonderful love you know Look, I'm going to tell you something. If you go to my Instagram page, you'll see my son's little puppy. I was baby, I was doggy sitting or puppy sitting. I call him my grandson, right? <laughs> it's my son's little dog. And, and you have to look at it maybe a couple of times, but you see spheres of light, orbs of light. I've been seeing orbs of light for years now, right? That's, I'm surrounded by spirit. We all are surrounded. And sometimes when we really need it, they slow down so that we can see it. I've got a couple of videos. I had a video that you could see it slower, but I didn't put that up. I put this one up, but you can see it. You'll see, you'll see the orb of light. Keep looking, you're going to get it. Um, but I have, or, you know, I've, for years I've been seeing these um, orbs of light, these spheres, and I know that their spirit, spirit is surrounding me all the time. Um, so I say all that, that you are, you are loved. You are loved more than you'll ever know. So look, next, right next to it is temperance, right? So this is saying everything in moderation. Don't focus on the deprivation. Focus on your glass is half full. Try to focus on that which you haven't. Be look, 
when you're feeling deprivation, sometimes you want to get out of this feeling of being deprived, deprived of love or deprived of money, whatever this deprivation is for you. And we want to get out of those feelings because they're uncomfortable. We don't like those feelings. It's sad, you know, and we get emotionally charged. So we, sometimes we might do some, might over drink, over eat, over watch television, gamble, whatever it is for you to get you out of those feelings. This is saying, don't go there. Feel those feelings, Pisces. Don't be afraid to feel those feelings because in feeling those feelings, you will get a deep healing. And this, the motto for the temperance card is everything in moderation. This has shown up for a lot of readings this week because we are going to be emotionally charged this week with all the astrological aspects going on. And clarifying these two cards is the high priestess. You're being given the gift of intuition and psychic ability. Trust it this week, right? Look, this is light and dark. Embrace the light and the dark within you. You are, we're all multifaceted people. We embrace the light and the dark, the light and the dark. The dark is coming up into the light and it shall be healed. Allow all that stuff to come out. Offer it to the universe, offer it to God, to the angels, allow it to be healed. And you will come out a different person and feel amazing. Look, spirit is here. My nose itches when spirit is here. <laughs> Pisces, you know, feel those feelings because you're going to be healed. It's wonderful. This is a wonderful opportunity and you're being called for a higher purpose. You really are. This is you're being called for a higher purpose and you're ready to move on to the next level, the next phase of your life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like this video, share it on your social media and comment and feedback. I love that. I really appreciate you. Mwah. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs>